Take a look at New York's latest tourist attraction. The vessel in New York's new Hudson Yards neighborhood is eye-catching and Instagram friendly, designed to draw crowds. Inside the shopping mall next door, they're also hoping to draw crowds using a sort of retail experiment. An entire floor filled with stores you've never seen before, at least not physically. We try and keep it very curated, very guided, very minimal. Until now, men's clothing retailer Mack Weldon only existed online. This is their first physical store. A big step, putting them up beside some big names. This is like showing up for your first game and it's the Super Bowl. The current American retail landscape has been called apocalyptic. So far in 2019, U.S. retailers have announced they'll close more than 6,000 stores. That's more closings than all of last year. Faced with that reality, the company behind Hudson Yards realized that to keep up foot traffic, they had to go where shoppers are going, online. So they brought the disruptors to them, dedicating an entire floor to brands making their brick and mortar debut. The whole revolution of what was happening online and how aggressive online buying was becoming somewhat at the cost of bricks and mortar was stunning and we couldn't ignore that. So I think the trend's gonna continue. This marketing professor says landlords need to get creative to attract shoppers. Landlords need to have rent, they need the cash flow. You know, they don't want to have for rent signs, you know, in empty, in empty storefronts. A few years ago, this block in Greenwich Village was filled with those empty storefronts. Then the developer offered incentives to bring these brands off the web and onto the street. Professor Weiner says they're following big names like mattress maker Casper and eyeglass giant Warby Parker, which started the shift, recognizing that the money is still in stores. Still 90% of all retail sales take place in a store, in a physical store. So this is actually one of our best sellers. But at a time of record store closings, can the new kids on the block avoid the mistakes of the old guard? The key, the new players say, give the customer an experience they can't get online. We actually find that customers that shop online and shop within our physical spaces will spend more over their lifetime value. It is great to see the product in person. Using the information they gather means the store becomes a lab, where they're constantly testing new ideas, products, and layout. You don't see a lot of clutter here. You don't see fixtures everywhere. You don't see a single mannequin in this store. Those are things that a traditional retailer would be like, whoa, why aren't you doing that? You gotta maximize your sales per square foot. But experts say don't look for this new wave of retail players to sweep across the country, filling up empty malls. They'll pick and choose their spots, likely big and busy cities, where they can prove their success online will work offline in the real world. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.